their position, so it will be doable. That statement took me aback. Their perception of secretary was one in which all you do is take notes, keep, keep all fossil files organized, and book rooms. It's true that all those are our secretary duties, but it is much more than that. I believe that it is an integral part of the executive board, but one that is seen as less significant than other executive, but it is seen as less significant as other executive board positions. As someone who is running for secretary, I want to challenge this misconception. From the standpoint of the Constitution, the role of the secretary is seen as important and responsible, as they are to sit close to the president during meetings to assist and take notes. The secretary must be able to explain pending business when called on, and also to keep everything on file. Ultimately, the secretary is an individual on the officer board that manages the logistics and the organizational structure of FOSA. Without the, without the secretarial position, the president, vice president, and treasurer would be overwhelmed with secretarial duties on top of their already demanding duties. Without the secretarial position, the organization would fall apart. But where, the, but where has this misconception of the secretarial role come about? My guess is that because FOSA secretaries are usually so invested and hardworking in note-taking and organizing all of FOSA's files, they may not talk as much and do not give as much input as other officers during meetings. And our primary duties do not involve planning our own FOSA events, but this should not dilute the secretary position within the officer board. As secretary for FOSA, I will not only execute all secretarial duties to the best of my ability with my strong organizational skills, the ability to retain a plethora of important dates and deadlines, and support my other executive officers, but I want to support the rest of the officers as well. As FOSA's public relations chair this past year, my position was not only what well, was not only to be seen as a liaison between members and officers, managing social media accounts and generating flyers, but my position was one in which I supported other officer positions, which I enjoyed, and I wanted to do that again as secretary. Specifically, for whoever my public relations successor, I can assist them in discovering effective PR tactics and any questions they have about designing flyers through Photoshop. But I also want to be able to support other officer positions, asking each and every one of them how they are doing their personal life and academics, and what upcoming FOSA projects they are working on, and how I can help them bring their vision to life. My insight as well, being a previous FOSA officer, will be helpful in gauging how successful a method is in execution of events or meetings, as I have seen what has worked and what has not worked for our current officer for planning for events and meetings. Through my accountability to maintain the logistics and files of FOSA and supporting the rest of my officers, I aim for my officer board, FOSA members, FOSA alumni, and surrounding UW and Seattle community to see the Secretary of FOSA as an integral officer position. But it's not only challenging misconceptions that motivates me to run for secretary, but the promise that I see in FOSA and how it is an organization that changes lives and develops leaders. Looking back on my past three years, it baffles me how I was once the shy, awkward freshman looking for a place to fit in at a university with a population of a small city. As an officer last year with the intent of fostering a sense of community for incoming members, it's one of the most rewarding experiences seeing members excited to attend our events, to get involved through volunteering or committee planning, but especially through hearing them run for officer positions because they want to give back to a community that has done so much for them. As a leader within FOSA, I want to help develop new officers into becoming the best leaders they can be for this upcoming year's officer board, but to especially also help new incoming members find a place to belong, a place they can call home, and continue on the trends of developing as a leader and upholding FOSA as an enriching, inclusive, and loving community. So you talked about, um, in your, your bio here, you talked about um, two main reasons why you wanted to be secretary. You did pretty well of what the secretary position is all about. But you also talked about fostering leadership among your officers. What does that entail? I think really it's just taking a lot of the experience that I have had being a past officer that I've learned. Like, okay, like in high school I had leadership positions, but they're not as like intensive as this was. Like, Basically, running FOSS is like running a business. It's, like, it's so much work, but at the end of it, all the skills that you learn and everything, and 
how to just run the organization to the best of its ability, that's how you foster leadership. And being able to have my experiences and helping, especially people, especially the new office, uh, the new the people who are running right now, like freshmen, and being able, if they haven't had leadership skills before, I can be able to, through my experiences, if they're trying to run an event, I'll be like, oh, well, in the past we've run this event, here are the things that that didn't work, and here's what didn't work. And you can use that to be able to run your events more effectively. So as, sir, as secretary, you're taking a leadership position among the officers as part of the executive board. Do you have any plans or new events that you want to head in the coming year? Specifically, I don't have any, but from what I, I, I've seen before is that um, one of the things I've, I've noticed was uh, we kind of had a little bit of trouble with like fundraising last year, especially with trying to like coordinate with like Rick's Cafe and whatnot. But I think just having a little bit more of like uh, from what I wanted to see from that, maybe just having a little bit more consistent fundraising events. We constantly have money to put on more, um, put on more events. So that's especially what I want to see come out from um, next year's officer board. Just having more fundraising events, and if something doesn't work, try to get more ideas from the officer board into finding what what works and what's going to help us get more money into the organization to have more creation events. I think Pat was trying to. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the question that I'll add on to that is take away all the other events that FASA does already and other activity or other chairs already take care of. What is one thing that you would like to do as secretary or, or running a bank or anything um, specifically that you would that would be your really case for? As like a, an event that I would put on or just mm -hmm. um as of right now, honestly, I don't I don't have something that I can think of at this point, but you know, I mean, I remember last year too, I, well, okay, here's what, so basically, I guess from since I don't have anything like tangible to really think about right now, but I definitely just do want to support um, my executive board and being able to help them just run, um, just just help them lead the other officers in the office board as well. Um, so, being a secretary is kind of you're saying it's been a position that's been kind of undermined, not as publicized as being very important. And I, I, personally, I think a secretary is a very important position because they are a support structure for not just the officers but also the whole organization. What's one important characteristic you think that you have that provides that support structure for FOSTA? I think um, being an officer this previous year as a public relations officer, a lot of those are transferable to a secretary position. Um, just being able to, I know from your public relations chair, you have to be on top of all the deadlines, all the dates as well, and that's what being a secretary is going to be all about. But it's even it's even more because you're not just like PR that stuff, but you're also trying to remind all of your um, officers about like what are these big projects that we have coming up, and you have to be able to you know keep all of those things organized in order for the organization to keep running. You really emphasized on supporting the other officers. How would you tackle multiple officers coming at you with all these different crises? That is a good question. Um, I guess for for one thing, I think it's just um, there are there are thirteen other officers as well, and I would hope that you know not all of them would be coming to me for all of the <laughs> for all of the problems that you know for all of the you know like the, all the struggles that we are having and. Um, you know, if, if for any reason that all that does happen, I'll be able to delegate um, delegate those um, struggles to another officer if they seem like they don't like they have everything on track and they're willing to help as well. That's all the time we have for questions. Thank you.